Hello, this is Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome to my corner of Al Gore's internet. Welcome back to Tatiana's journey to redemption. It has been a couple weeks since we recorded a episode um, for this LP, and I'm actually glad to get back into it. I've been wanting to for a while, but Calendar Girl has been taking up a lot of my time because of the massive amount of writing that I've been doing uh, for that particular LP. But just to get you guys back up to speed, um, I guess in the last episode, um, and if you haven't seen that, please go back and watch it. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, but Tatiana finally fixed up her two favorite, well, at least her favorite teacher with one of the more popular um, staff members at uh, the academy, which was... Um, Coach Santiago, and uh, yes, yeah, so that little relationship seems to be going off with a bang, and so Tati's really feeling herself right now, even more so because if you see here, we've got uh, Nico uh, standing here with her and an audience. <laughs> Mr. Yoshida's here. Uh, this is Mr. Yoshida is Nico's former butler. And we've got a new person here, Sinclair Evans. Sinclair is part of the LOS club. Um, so this is no one that they've met in particular, but she just decided to butt in. Don't you just love the Sims when you're trying to have a, um, a perfectly private conversation and they just decide to, hey, you know what? There's two people over there talking. Let's go over there and insert ourselves into the conversation, all up in the Kool-Aid, don't know the flavor. I mean, I could be drinking Tropicana or tropical fruit and you, you want lemonade. I don't know, whatever. But uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's get into the story. And uh, anyway, so Nico did invite Tati over. Or he invited her out to come to this talent show. She was in the middle of doing her homework. Uh, it is Saturday, though. It's Saturday evening. So she's got plenty of time to finish up her homework. And she decided to forego that and uh, hang out with Tati or Nico instead. Oh, wait a minute. Pause. Uh, look at the Sims writing my storyline for me. So one of her friends, Shelby, uh, sister of her best friend, um, has invited her out to the movies. And that just went by really quickly. Uh, and she's out with Nico. I'm going to tell you right now, Tati's going to refuse that uh, invite. And it's too late anyways because uh, the phone call went away. But uh, that's just another bad mark on her um, with her friendship, on her friendship with her her girls, um, they'll probably remember that for a long time that she once again ditched them for a dude. Um, anyway, so Tati is more than happy to come to this talent show and she's got a hidden talent. Um, I don't know if I discussed this at all, but Tati has an affinity for um, musical instruments. She's very musically inclined um and she's been dreaming about producing her own music so she's been itching to get a hold of uh some of, of this dj booth up here so i don't know if the talent show has started yet but i'm gonna have her come over and play oh she can't can she play music genre oh she can't she can't um, use this DJ booth. Well, isn't that just great? Okay, well, um, let's have her jam for the group then. Oh, okay. I thought he was coming over. He was walking up here with confidence. Like he was about to hit the mic. I was waiting for him to jam, but uh, that didn't happen. So I want her to kind of, um, show off a little bit in front of Nico. Maybe he'll be impressed by her skills. Let's hope she doesn't. Oh no. Oh, you guys, Shiloh just text or do you want to come to my party? There are no adults allowed. Ah, Tati's going to have to decline. Um, what if we not ditch our friends and we bring Nico with us? 
I think, I think we should do that. So why don't we head to the party? Let's accept the invite, keep some cool points with our friends and bring Nico along. Okay. Where is Nico? Uh, why don't we bring our new friend Sinclair since she invited herself into the conversation? We'll go ahead and bring Nico. I'm sure Nico won't mind ditching uh, the talent show. Uh, what kind of, wait a minute, where does, who, where does she have us at? This better not be known the, no, she didn't. I, I have some questions. I have some serious questions. Why are we in, uh, this town? This is like forbidden. I, I don't know how I feel about being over here. Absolutely not. I am not feeling this at all. Wait a minute. Where did... Okay. Nico didn't even come. I don't see him unless he went in the house. Can we go in the house? Is this where we're at? This is where we're at. We're having a party here. Look, I've seen that movie and no one survived. Oh, Nico's inside. Uh, well, everybody's dressed all nice. Y'all, I'm not eating anything in this house. Look at this. This stove hasn't been used in years. I'm not eating nothing. But I'm going to have her come in, sit down, um, and <laughs> express her um, her concerns. Um, hey, maybe she could propose a crazy scheme. Like, let's get out of here. Oh, my gosh. I just realize Tempest is here. Oh, we are staying. The drama. Oh, we're staying. Look at the side eye we're getting from Tempest. Like, what are you doing here? I came with Nico. He invited me. Well, actually, he invited me out and I invited him to the party. Oh, hello, Gio. How are you? Um, well, we're stuck here at this party, so we're going to make the, the best of it. These are all popular kids. Um, how does Shiloh get an invite? These are people with you can't sit with us and you still can't sit with us. Um, and from the basketball team, how are we at this party? Shiloh must have a hookup somewhere. Okay, well, we're going to talk to our friend and find out what she's what, what's going on because uh, she knows that half of these people, maybe 90% of these people don't like us. Um I want to ask her, how in the heck does she know these people? Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk to her about Tempest. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, let's see. Where are we at? Also, we're in the wrong neighborhood. I mean, it's pretty safe here. There aren't any, are there any vampires in the house? I only saw the one. You like Tempest? What is going on? Let me find out you have a relationship with Tempest that Tati didn't know about. You guys are, we're enemies and the, you're supposed to be on my side. How do you like her? I need to find out what's going on. Like, is my best friend, uh, is her best friend like, um, setting her up because look oh okay i think this is a full grown setup oh there are vampires in here i'm afraid oh we oh wow yeah that's right hug it out where is my friend at where's where's shiloh shiloh we we need to talk girl they have a baby Who's, what a cutie pie. Um, where is she at? Who is this? Cassandra Goth, you look good, girl. Oh, where is, who is this? Okay. Um, where'd she go? I don't see her. Shayla has some explaining to do, and I feel like she's avoiding us. There she is. 
Um, I'm I'm highly upset with her. Yeah, I'm going to sit here and trash Tempest to her because she absolutely knows that I don't like her and or Tati doesn't like her. And for her to invite, what are you doing? You've invited us to a party, invited me to a party that you know. What? Oh, now she's pretending that she doesn't like her. Let me talk to her. She actually needs to use the restroom. Is there a bathroom in this house? Yes. I'm almost afraid to uh, have her venture off on her own. There's no one. Um, did Nico leave? Oh, goodness. I hope no one gets bit. That's all I need is to for a sim to get bit. Um, who is this? <gasps> Y'all, Vladius is here. It's time to end the party now. Time to shut it down. <laughs> shut it down. Everybody go. <laughs> Shutting it down. I don't care. Shutting it down. Vladius has entered the building. I'm sorry for yelling in your ear, but yes, I, we're all going home. Party over. We will continue this elsewhere, Tati. You don't have to go home, but you got to go. You got to leave here. All right. Let's see if we can head somewhere else. Um, I'm going to have her maybe go and talk to, well, you know what? I'm going to have her hang out with Nico for a little while longer. So let me figure out a place to go. Um, maybe we can hang out at the park. I mean, that would be a perfect spot to chill for a little bit, um, but we can take care of Shiloh later. So I'll be back when I find a place for them to hang out. You guys done? You done? Are you finished? <laughs> All right, I need her to apologize for, uh, she, did she even get to um, use the, the restroom? I don't think she did. Um, let's get to know Nico. But let's talk to him. I don't want her to go to sleep yet. So I'm just going to cheat her energy just a tad. You know, I'm really sorry about the party. I thought it was going to be popping, but it wasn't. And um, I'm kind of, um, I'm, I'm kind of upset with my friend right now. I'm like, don't worry about it. I, I wasn't expecting Tempest to be there. And, uh, <laughs> That was a little awkward. Um, I, I had to make an excuse. Just let her know that, you know, I was helping you with um, your your homework <laughs> and you got the invite. Did she believe you? Absolutely. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get her to flirt a little bit with him. They're having a really good time chatting it up. And I don't want to ruin the friendship, but I, I kind of want to have her flirt with him she's feeling a little triumphant okay so she's feeling confident so maybe confident enough to slip in a little compliment uh what is she tense about one of the sims at the event really bothered well of course she's tense she's pissed because tempest was there okay that didn't work Great. Okay. Well, so much for the flirting. Um, oh, look at them. They're so cute. <sighs> Nico, you're an idiot. Let's have a deep conversation. Um, oh, I guess he's, it's, oh, he's got to use the bathroom too. Okay. Let me just have her go over there too and use the restroom. Might as well. Um, she did. Oh no, her bladder's full. She's good. He's got to go. Maybe he'll be in a better mood. Maybe I'll have him push her on the swing. I'm almost afraid to have her get on the swing because the last time I got on the swing, I put a sim in the swing, they wouldn't get off. Crazy thought. <laughs> he was here not too long ago with Tempest. Was he not? I mean, wasn't he? And now he's here with her? Oh, he's down for some chess. Um... Maybe you can just go over there and join him. Forget about the food. 
go talk to Nico. This is the perfect time for you to hang out with him. And you're over here grilling. What is that? I feel like I'm seeing vampires like flash by. I could be wrong. I could be going crazy. Maybe he wants to talk. Um, <laughs> ask about woohoo. Yeah, that's, we're going to go ahead and ask him. I'm curious. Is, has he been with Tempest? I mean, this, that's so inappropriate, but she wants to know. I mean, she's never been with anyone. Um, and she's a teenager, so that's perfectly normal for a teenager to ask. Maybe not another, well, maybe not her crush per se, but he was cool with the question. He was down with it. Uh, he took it in, in stride. Maybe we can slip in another flirt. He seems to be in a much better mood. Um, you know what? Let's give him these Dre beats. <laughs> Maybe that'll butter, butter him up. <laughs> uh, what? Did he, he liked it. Uh, let's check the, no, still nothing. Okay, we're, we're forcing the issue. Um, but um, he is in a better mood. <gasps> Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Hold on. What? I was not expecting that response at all. Wow. Um. Yeah, let me turn this back on. What? Okay, well, yeah, they're back on. Okay, I'm sorry. That is crazy. I was not expecting that at all. Wait a minute. She didn't like it? Tati, are you crazy? How do you... All right. Oh, it's getting late. <gasps> Girl, you better get home. Okay, you know what? I... I... She knows it's late. The sun is coming up. Um, let's just take a chance. Let's take a chance. Blow him a kiss. Maybe he just gave you a really nice, he gave you a flower. Um, so try to at least, what are, what are you doing? Is she going to blow him a kiss or what? Can we try this again? Blow my kiss? Girl, it's getting late. Do your thing. It's Sunday morning. Your mom is going to kill you. Oh, my gosh. I guess she's like, <gasps> he's like, no. Okay, well, so much. You shot your shot, and you got shot down. <laughs> All right, maybe it's time to end this date. It's been great. I don't know if it's even a date. It's probably not. Um, anyways, let's uh, let's give him a hug and let's get get going. Uh, can we give him a hug? Uh, okay, well let's just give him props and um, let's get home. We're gonna be in trouble. He's embarrassed. All right. Uh, yeah. That didn't work out. Um, maybe, maybe the best friends forever kind of hug will, will work. Okay. She just seriously got friend zoned, I think. But I think it was worth giving him a hug just to let him know that, hey, you know what? I realized that I was out of line for flirting. I realized you have a girlfriend, but I'm still here, here for you. <laughs> Uh, I just want to be your friend. I just want to be around you. Um, anyways, he's like, yeah, look, it's getting really late. I need to get home. I had a great time. I'm really sorry about the party. Probably, you know, it didn't go so well, but we should do this again. We should hang out. And she's like, yeah, that sounds great. 
but I do need to get home. My mother's going to kill me. I'll probably be grounded until I'm out of high school, but I will see you later. That was actually fun. All right, let's get her home. Maybe she can sneak in. Maybe mom is not awake. I'm, wait a minute. Her mother is still at the factory. What? So Tati came in mad. I guess that's the way to um, negate the fact that you walked in at five o'clock in the morning. Excuse me, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, Elle just went upstairs to take a nap. I guess she's who, she's in a really good mood. And I guess so. She's been uh, hanging out with Josh uh, Pollock for a while and looks like the relationship is going well. They're lovers, but have they made it official? I don't know. She still doesn't know a lot about him. I think we need to uh, take care of that. Um, she probably does need to spend a little more time with him. I'm going to just have her go take a full on nap or rest. Dark circles. Okay, she hasn't had any sleep. She definitely needs to take, um, go to bed. Tati does too. Uh, Grandma Lily is like, look, I, I know you left last night and you came in awfully late this morning. I'm not going to say anything to your mom. I really don't feel like dealing with either one of you being at each other's throat. But please be respectful to my house and come in at a more decent time. And Tati is apologizing to Grandma. She's like, I'm sorry, Grandma. I really didn't mean to stay out so late. I was just having a great time with this guy that I really like. And uh, Lily, Grandma Lily's like, oh, tell me about him. His name's Nico. Problem is, he really he's dating someone else. But I really like him. And... I mean, we get along really well. We have a lot in common. We both like music. And um, he just, I just wish he would see me. All right. So I'm going to have her go upstairs and, and head to bed. Um, and we'll be back when she wakes up. All right. So after a good nap, Tati woke, got woken up to buy an invite uh, from her favorite teacher, Mrs. B, uh, or Ms. B, I'm sorry, I keep marrying her up. Maybe one day she will get married. Uh, but as you can see, she's over here hanging out with uh, her new babe. And uh, who is this? Oh, I hate seeing homeless people in the game. Oh, look at this, though. Um, He doesn't look happy, but... It could be, they, they look a little awkward. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to go over here to Tati because she is, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, when she got here, Nico was here. Um, and so Tati grilled up some Kahlua pork. And Okay, sir. Um, and they've been just chilling, talking. Um. I'm going to have her re reveal a deep secret. I'm not going to have her tell him that she likes him because he knows that. Um, but maybe she could just, you know, joke about old times. Make it friendly so it's not so awkward. Share some photos. <gasps> what a cute dog. What's wrong with him? Oh, this is Shiloh's dog. What's wrong with him? Why is he blue? And if he's here or she's here, where's Shiloh? Tati hasn't gotten a chance to talk to her friend yet, but um, she's got to make it her business to get a hold of Shiloh. I don't know why we're here at a dog park having a picnic, but um, I don't know. It's a cool place to hang out. And she just wanted to treat her um, students that are in the tutoring class to a nice little get together. Uh, and while the, while the weather is still nice, um, I'm going to have Tati, is she in a good mood? I just want to make sure that she's very happy. All right. I'm going to have her shoot her shot one more time, guys. Just one more time. I'm just going to, uh, they kind of match too. Look, okay. Besides the shorts, look at this. They kind of match the green and the tan kind of an army thing going. He liked that. Okay. Mm. All right, let's let's try it. We got it in. Uh, feed a bite. I've never seen that before. What? <laughs> oh, my 
my gosh. What? Is he feeling a little guilty? I think he's feeling a little guilty about that. But he did take the bite. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. Oh, she's going to go over and talk to Shiloh's mom. No, she's not. Um, She's going to talk to Pia. Girl, Pia is not trying to talk to you. <laughs> Pia, is, she is not trying to talk to you. Pia is no one's friend. Are you? Come on. Okay, I thought that was. <laughs> that's Brie. I really. That is Talon's mom. Talon Gomez just happens to be Tempest's best, one of Tempest's best friends. And that's his mom, Talon. And she's here at the park. She just. She shows up, sits down for a minute, and walks off. I'm pretty sure she saw that little interaction between Tati and Nico. This can't bode well. But um, I wonder if this food's good. Tati cooked the food. I don't know. All right. Let's, um, <clears throat> let's, let's see if he'll take the exchange of numbers. Who's this cutie? Luis Sosa. Will he do it? Will he take the number, y'all? Will he do it? Please take the number. Come on, dude. You took the bite. You're playing me. You're playing us. All right, whatever. All right, Tati decided to leave the cookout fairly early. Look at Grandma. She just got home from her little get-together at the cafe. Oh, here she comes. Okay. Anyways, they live right across the street from the O'Shea's. When Grandma just walked right on in. Um, and Tati really just wanted to talk to her friend about what happened. And Shiloh's trying to be uh, coy, but Tati knows the real deal here. At least she thinks she does. She's like, what's going on? You know, we're supposed to be best friends. And I feel like you set me up, uh, put me in a position where things could have went awry. You know I don't like Tempest. You know Tempest doesn't like me. And she really doesn't trust me around her man. She, I mean, she rightfully shouldn't. I don't want to be mean to her, but I'm a little mad. So we're going to argue. We're going to argue about school. Um, yeah. Okay, conflict, conflict resolution aside, girl. We're not worried about that. We're upset. Um, you did me wrong. I feel like... I feel like I don't know you anymore. You're okay with Tempest now? You know how we feel about each other. You're supposed to be my girl. You have my back. Tempest is not who you think she is. She's really actually fairly nice, and you need to stop being immature, and you need to stop being a home wrecker. A home wrecker? You know what you're doing, Tati. I know what you're doing. And you know what? Tempest isn't as stupid as she looks. <laughs> Nico and I are enjoying each other's company, and can't, I can't help it that we have a lot in common. You're forcing the issue. If he's not interested, he's not interested. Whatever. He's going to go ahead and use the bathroom. Cute little house. I actually downloaded this off the, um, off the gallery, but I did. I made some changes to it. Um, why is she sad? What is this? Uh, time to wear black from having a, a mood swing. Sad because I'm sad. You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. Okay, she's sad because she had an argument with her best friend. Have her go home. Um, say goodbye. Is she in here talking to her sister? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess her dad's trying to... Shil Shiloh's dad is out here trying to... Uh, resolve the issue oh they're hugging not tati though tati's in there talking to herself i know the feeling girl i'll be arguing to myself in the mirror too all right tati's in here crying and guess who comes to the door shelby she overheard her sister's her sister uh and tati arguing and i don't know if shelby's gonna take size or not what uh, excuse me. Uh, y wait a minute. Hold it. I know we went over his house, so I just want to make sure we don't have any type of relationship with him. 
because uh, we're, like I said, we don't need any vampires uh, uh, trying to um, turn folks. All right, you can, you can uh, not, okay, no, maybe not, can't, can't uh, he's not going to come in, right? He can't come in. Okay, I don't think he's going to come in unless he's invited. Let's ask her for advice. Maybe Shelby will have some insight. Well, she will have some insight on her sister because that is her sister. But she's like, what? I Was I wrong? Am I wrong? Shelby's like, yeah, you know, my sister, as stubborn as she can be, she's kind of right, Tati. You're inserting yourself into a relationship and you're you're confusing the guy. I'm sure he has some feelings for you because he likes hanging out with you. You guys are always together, but he's also got a girlfriend. As much as you don't like Tempest, you know, you're being just as terrible as she is by trying to break up the relationship. I'm not trying to break up the relationship. I just, I like him and, okay, maybe I'm trying to break up the relationship. I, I just like him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my bad person. No, girl. Let's watch some TV. Okay, so it's the next day. It's been a it's been a few hours. Tati went to school, came back, and this is what I get. Should Tati invite over classmate Nico? Okay, so we had this discussion last night with Shelby. Shelby f felt like Tatiana was wrong or is wrong, just like her sister Shiloh. Tatiana did admit that she was trying to insert herself in between Tempest and Nico, but Nico seems to constantly want to hang out with Tati and they are friends. If anything, they are friends. Um, so they have that relationship. Um, and it's been something that they've built over time, hanging out with each other, the t with the tutoring and things like that. Um, so I feel like Tati can, she, she's not over him. She probably will never will be, but at least she could try to really just be a friend to Nico. Um, I don't think this is wise, but I'm going to go ahead and invite him over anyways. She probably does need a little time away from him, but we're just going to go with the flow, see where it goes. Um, grandma, whoa, look at the litter box. Okay, let's get grandma to clean this litter box out because that looks disgusting. Um, where is Nico? Did he, is he just hanging out in the front? Um... Uh, okay. So did he not come over? Maybe, maybe he decided against it or maybe she told him no instead. Maybe she felt like, oh, let's see. School is stupid. I should just be able to get, just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Um, school teaches important things. Society requires school for success. Don't grow up until you need to. Okay, so she's talking to Grandma Lily May. Um, and Grandma doesn't want to see her granddaughter grow up. You know, she realizes that there's a lot out in the world that her granddaughter still hasn't discovered yet. She's a little naive, a little bit gullible. And she just wants her to stay a child for as long as possible. Um... I think this is definitely going to lower her responsibility. Well, obviously it is, but I like this response. Don't grow up until you need to. For a number of reasons, Tati really needs to slow her roll. But so she just needs to hang on to her teenage years or what's left of her teenage years for as long as possible. She has plenty of time for boys. So don't grow up until you need to. <clears throat> so that I think that was a perfect question for this moment. And I don't think Nico actually came over. I think he, I think he went home. I don't see him on the lot whatsoever. And I think that was a wise decision on his behalf. Why isn't anyone cleaning out this litter box? 
It's disgusting. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and end the, the episode here. I do hope you and oh, there's Nico. So he did come over. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Nico and Tati. He seems to be making his way over here. But, um, yeah. Oh. All right. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're not a, a subscriber or a member of our family, you are family members here. I do hope that you decide to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you decide to like, comment and share because we definitely want to add more members to the family reunion. As I said before, if you don't know how to cook, you can always bring the paper plates, the soda and the chips. And until next time guys, ciao.